Anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? My name Dunar Jared. Dunar, how are you doing? I'm not going to complain. Uh, here we are. We're doing another Sloopcast. And before I turn my noise gate back on, the people are asking for it. They're clamoring for it. They they need it. They want it. Here's me opening a beer. There we go. So it's a new tradition, but it's a tradition. Kyle, all, tradition. all all traditions start somewhere, right? Let me yes. let me let me let me just let me just set that for you. Go ahead and spike it. <laughs> yes, we are talking about the best and worst college football trophies. We're gonna we're gonna have a tier list here. What the tier list? Tier list. We love we love tier lists. What <laughs> the slipcast doing a tier list? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But we love our tier list right, here. So the, Where's the right, Jameson so, for the Irish? This ain't a Notre Dame podcast. Although, yeah, I guess happy <laughs> Irish day to all of the Irish. I don't know why I called it Irish day. I don't know why I didn't call it St. Patrick's day. Probably right, should have been drinking an Irish ale. I'm not. All right. Tier list for these college football trophies here. All right. Let me switch scenes. So criteria here, we're going to we're going to go through these and just put them in order here. Sure. S, A, B, C, D and M tier, as we usually do. We'll grade them on originality, concepts and execution and maybe some other things here and there as we seem fit. Also, we'll make it up as we go. Yes, as always. All right. Um, I, I, we just one thing top list here, Jared. I yeah, probably that's for the best. Um, make sure to credit if, yeah, we, there's a ton of them. Make sure to credit, uh, the folks in the discord, if they're the ones that submitted it. And, um, also say one thing that we have explicitly decided is not a criteria is like the quality of the rivalry itself. Mm -hmm. We we don't care about the two teams playing good or bad. That's where we're, we are judging the trophies. Yep. All right, we'll start off with uh, Z-Spikes, who is in our Discord here. Uh, he he says submitted here a bunch the, of them. Uh, he did. And I am going, he's going to start off with a trophy that I am going to butcher the heck out of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I. good luck. <laughs> um, it is the it is the Florida Georgia rivalry of the Okfinoki or trophy. Something that, like that. I'm 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 ninety nine percent sure I'm wrong, but uh, probably I'm going to say almost. The, Spike says sixty percent. Hey, hey, that's better. That's a that's a solid <laughs> it was D. Carved from a tree on on that river which borders both states. Mm. Uh, that's the name. Of, I didn't even know that. Is that the name of the river that separates the states? Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Ah, huh. we are learning geography today. Okay, Kyle. So, um, it's an or. So originality, an or. Uh, the, okay. The, yeah, no, no, I like it. Well, because because it's because it's a river, right? It's a, that that sure. adds to it. It makes it a little less random. It gives it a yeah. little. So it's a good good concept. I like yeah, the execution. And, and it's carved, it's and it's carved from, and it's carved from a tree related to the name of the trophy. That that gets that gets bonus points there as well. So, I I like it. I don't know. It's. I, I'd say I'd say like a B. A B? I say B. Mm-hmm. Um I'd say B A, but uh, I was venturing in the A territory, but we don't have time to we're 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 in the we're well, in the ballpark. We're in the ballpark. We're in the ballpark. So many, we're there in the ballpark. So many of these. Yeah. We're all right, Z spikes with an Z spikes with another one here, the Paddle Wheel Trophy. It is the winner of the Cincinnati and Pitt rivalry. Trophy was designed and named in honor of a historic link between Cincinnati and Pittsburgh when paddle wheel boats would travel along the Ohio River between the two cities. And yes, you still see plenty of those in Cincinnati. Uh, they're mostly casinos now, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I um, like this. I, 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 it's original. Uh, There's not another one like this. You got, you got yeah. the... You got the speed control thing there to sort of denote the winner and the loser. 
I like when a trophy denotes the winner and the loser. Um, I like it. I like it. How, what, what do you think, Kyle? I didn't think the, um, unless I'm really wrong with my geography, I didn't think the uh, Ohio River goes through some, or goes right by or through Pittsburgh. It originates in Pittsburgh. The Mahongahela and the, I don't remember the name of the other one, Allegheny. Ah, yep, Allegheny. You are right. You well, are right. Yes. I, th- thank you, Zach. Um, they combine into the Ohio River. You, you remember how remember how the Steelers used to play in Three Rivers Park? Yep, I gotcha. Yep, there you go. Uh, how do you feel about this trophy? Yeah, I, I think I think it's I think the originality is right there. I, I really like that. I'd, I'd probably put that in an A. I yeah, think that's, that's a solid A to me. Yeah, good good concept, good execution. Yes, I am learning. I'm always willing to learn. We are learning a lot about rivers tonight. I, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> All right. Um, this next one is not a river. It's, it is not a river. Uh, it's called the Troll Trophy. It sure is. All right. Um, the, and it's a troll. winner of the... It's, yeah, mean, it's, it's the it's winner a, of the... It looks like Concordia a forest College troll. College potentially a Saint, bridge troll. St. Olaf rivalry game. Listen, um, how many trophies on the list are fuzzy? It, it gets a, it gets amazing originality points. We can talk about execution points. We can have a conversation about execution tro- point. So Great. originality. Yes. Yes. S S tier for originality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, execution. Might be another execution thing. concept, maybe M tier. <laughs> no, no, no. Con, con, I, I think I think it's a good concept too, because they both 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 schools have uh, Nordic roots. This is supposed to be like a Nordic troll. Um, I like the concept. I I, I like the originality. Uh, not a huge Trophy fan of the execution. Awful. Yeah, it not is a fan awful. of the execution. I, I can't. I cannot do it any higher than C. And not do it any higher than C. I I think you need to appreciate the jovialness of this trophy a little bit more, but whatever, we'll go with C. Uh, next up is the Jeweled Shillelagh, Shillelagh. Club, which is known as the Irish Club, awarded for the Notre Dame and USC rivalry game. Did not know that. Did not know there was a trophy for this one. Yes, uh, the the version a, you see a, on your screen if you're watching unique. They get their own unique jewel to the trophy. Yeah. If you're watching this on the YouTube version, you're currently seeing it. I'm going to use the word bedazzled. Uh, bedazzled in Notre Dame gear. It's much uh, greener um, when it is on the uh, on the other side of the rivalry. You said Michigan State, right? No, Notre Dame and USC. USC, excuse me. It's much redder uh, when it's on the... Uh, California side, but it's, it's one of those trophies that sort of gets redesigned or repainted. You see a lot of trophies that are repainted depending upon where they are. I I think, I think this is kind of the similar to the, uh, to the last trophy we talked about. Uh, Originality. Yes. Uh, Concept. I like execution. eh. I have to say, I don't like how. I do like, hold on, let me see if I can find this real quick. Uh, USC, uh, God, I'm like, I'm going to be able to spell shillelagh off the top of my head. Um, here we go. That's close enough for Google to find it. Let me, let me, let me ask you this, Kyle. Um, if I got the, oh, I, why can I only, okay. You know what, screw it. It, 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 it looks I thought they repainted it. They don't. It's just they, they put a different gold emblem on it. It looks very blue in this picture, but I just Googled a bunch of them and they look black. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. There's a, there's a closer up picture. I, I have to say from this view that you just put in the uh, chat... I prefer it a little bit more. Oh, boy, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Here we go. 
We're going to do that real quick. And we're going to get rid of that one. We're going to put this one in. I like this picture a little bit more. All right, Kyle, does I, this version of the shillelagh I, I change your mind at all? I guess a B. I can't do anything higher than a B. Okay. I'm just not a fan of how the trophy looks. I, I like I like everything else. The I like everything else that associated with the trophy, just not the execution side. But that's fair. That is fair. All right. Um, moving on, uh, Buckeye Esquire uh, weighs in here. Um, wants us to talk about the the Fremont Cannon. It is the Nevada UNLV rivalry. It's the heaviest rivalry trophy. This thing five hundred and forty. 545 pounds and is a replica of a howitzer that uh, accompanied Captain John C. Freeman on okay. his expedition through Oregon, Nevada, and California. Let me say this. That is pretty in, cool. In my research for this, I noticed there's a lot of cannons. The, there's a lot there of is. trophies that, that that are cannons. This one, this there's a lot of bells as well. Um, one thing I'll notice here is that this is an actual full sized and it's not, it's not functioning. Don't get me wrong, but it's built exactly like a functioning cannon. A lot of the, a lot of the other, the, a lot of the other, so originality, not, not high, but as far as all of the cannon based trophies go, this is the best executed one, in my opinion. And it has history tied to it. So we're going to give it good conceptual points. We're going to give it great execution points. And Originality a, a bit, a bit lacking. Yep, and it looks it looks like that each team does paint. Each yes, team does paint it. Yes, based on their their uh, school colors there. So I, I'd say I'd say an A. I agree. I'd say an A. This is this is a really solid. This it's, is a really solid. Trip. Uh, it's solid in more ways than one. I think it's like <laughs> five hundred and fifty yes. pounds or something crazy like that. 545 pounds, yes. All right. Uh, Z spikes with another one. Um, I, I, Kyle, I, f I feel like we're going to have a fight about this trophy. This says, consider the funniest rivalry trophy, the $5 bits of chair trophy. Broken chair. Um, yep. Winner of Jared's um, Minnesota Golden Gophers and Nebraska rivalry game. Not my Gophers. Here's what I like about this trophy. It is highly modern. A lot of new trophies feel like they've gone Rigid. through. Go hold on. Feel like they've gone through committees. Uh, uh, we'll we'll see like the we'll see a version of the Cyhawk trophy a little bit later on that perfectly um, it is a perfect example of what I mean by like when a trophy is done by committee. When a lot of the older trophies are based off of something ridiculous like uh the, the 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 brown jug for example has a great backstory to it this one grew organically and i think it deserves a big amount of conceptual points for that go, go ahead and tell the story now kyle uh it is the first and only big 10 rivalry trophy to originate entirely on the internet traces roots back in 2014 uh, to a 2014 Twitter exchange between Goldie the Gopher and Fake Pelini, a parody account of former Nebraska coach Bo Pelini. I also like that the universities fought this trophy at first. The, the universities didn't want this to be an actual trophy, but the, just the will of the people made it happen. That This is a... This is the only modern trophy, in my opinion, with actual organic roots. And I think it deserves big points for that. The People's Trophy. Yes, Spikes. No, no. I'm kind of torn about this one. I I, I knew of, you would be. But my first my first thought would be like C D. Yeah. I, but I, I'm not I, 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 I'm not a fan of it at all. I, I knew you wouldn't be. You're you're not a you're <laughs> man Kyle shitting on all my submissions. I think this gets huge conceptual points. I think this gets enormous originality points. We can have a conversation about the execution of the actual trophy, sure. Um but I 
I think this is a B in my opinion. And I, I let you have the past few that we disagreed on. So I'm putting it Fine. in B. All right. We, we have a, I'm not yep. going to argue yep, yep. with that. We'll keep that B. All right. Another one from Z Spikes here. Um, he said this is on the weirder side. The Dutchman Shoes Trophy given to the annual, again, the winner of the annual um, Rensselaer Polytech Technic Institute Engineers and Union College Garnet Chargers rivalry game. The oldest football rivalry in the state of New York. I, it's, a pair of, it's a pair of wooden shoes, Kyle. Um, there's, there, there's a there's a um, there's a Wizard of Oz joke in here somewhere. No, nah, those were made of emerald. Like, is there is there a story behind this or spikes or? actually literally just said I couldn't find shit on the backstory. I, it's just that it's Dutch. New New York is, you know, New York was founded by the Dutch. These are it, it just is, it's a nod to the heritage of both schools. Yeah, this, like back when New York was New Amsterdam, it was like it's one of the few areas of the country that was founded by the Dutch. This I'm sure is simply a nod to that. A pair of Dutch shoes. I don't think it. I doubt it's any deeper than that. Um, don't hate me, it's these spikes, but we'll give it a D. <laughs> I'll let you have this one, and uh, spikes will hate you forever. I know you will. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> let's see. Next one, oh, here. Jared. this is Jared my favorite trophy here. ever. And w when I say it's the my favorite trophy ever, it, it's because I hate it. Embarrassing corn trophy. This is what happens when a trophy is designed by committee. Uh, this is the, the Cyhawk Trophy, which, if you don't know, is the trophy uh, between the two Iowa schools, Iowa and Iowa State. It's gone through a few redesigns yeah. through the years. Uh, yeah. th this, this is not the current one. This is uh, an abomination <laughs> of what God. happens... When a bunch of politicians decide what a trophy should look like. Um, yeah. M, M, yeah, put this M, in M. This is, this is this terrible. Is, this is the worst there, I think. I think I think there's quite a few trophies that reminds me similar to like that one, but M, M, M. All right. Uh, ooh, the platypus trophy. Here we go, Jared. The platypus trophy is Oregon, Oregon State rivalry. Um, I got Esquire posted this one. Um most positive, the person who designed the trophy had never actually seen a platypus. Yeah, no. But already already spent the deposit check, so he just had to wing it and keep it vague. Kyle, it, how many guesses would it take to look at this trophy? Looks like a weasel. For, for you to land on platypus. Uh, Infinite. 20. 20? <laughs> I don't think so, good sir. Um. Yeah, this this I this looks like a this looks like a turd. I, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I I don't know I don't know how else to say it. This this is an M. I mean I guess maybe it should get some points for originality, but man, I mean, the execution is just in the garbage. I mean, it looks a little better when, when there's a little light to it, but no, it does not still. No, it doesn't. I mean, maybe slightly. Right. Supposedly it was chosen because it was the one animal that kind of looked like both mascots. So in the mind, so if, if a beaver and a mm -hmm. duck had a baby, it would land on a platypus. I, I guess that's not the worst reasoning, but, but, um, the, uh, Sometimes it's better uh, not to be clever. <laughs> That's all I'll say. All right, Kyle, what's next? After 40 year disappearance, the platypus trophy was finally discovered in 2005. I would love to deep dive <laughs> what that means, but we don't have the time. But what we do have time for, Kyle, what we do have time for 
right now as an ad break. Uh, if you want to avoid these ads, uh, you can go to patreon.thesloopcast.com. You can get early access to episodes, premium access to the Discord server, a bunch of other goodies. Um, but if you want to listen to the audio version of this podcast without any ads, you can also do that on patreon.thesloopcast.com, $3 a month or $32 a year. Okay, Kyle. Uh, what do we have next? Um, another one by you, Jared. Uh, just called The Bones. UAB and Memphis rivalry. I don't know anything about this trophy other than it looks really cool. It, it's, it's, it's a rack of ribs. Battle for the Bones. I, again, I just, I don't know. It's just like barbecue heritage. I don't know, but it's really cool looking. Uh, execution's getting a, an S on this. If, if, if nothing else, they, they, they battle it. it this isn't just for college football. Apparently they also fight over this for in basketball as well. Ooh, that's, that's a cool twist. It looks cool. It's a cool concept. It's original. It also, you're right. It is also called the Ribs Trophy. It's a 100 pound behemoth celebrating the football rivalry between I, the two schools. Kyle, I think this is an S tier. I've never even heard of this before, but I think this is checking all the boxes for me. I think this is an S tier trophy. You're right. You are right. Yes. All right. Um, next one here. I'm going to try to go through these a little quick here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Monin... Uh, oh, here comes our first of many, many bells here. The Monin Bell um, between two Division Three Indiana uh, schools here. DePaul and Wabash. 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 Wab, yeah. Separated by 30, 30 miles apart. It's a the bell it's itself is, three, is 300 yeah. pounds. Once used on the... Monon Railroad, a system that operated entirely in the state of Indiana. It's painted. It's a, it's a bifurcated paint scheme, which is, I guess, kind of neat. Uh, originality, requires, not high. I'll say that. Originality yeah. is not high. It um, requires I, multiple people to carry it. Yeah. Um, I think the execution is really nice. Um, originality. I, con I, I get yeah, I think the originality bumps it down, so I'd say B. Okay, I was about B. to put it in C, but we'll move forward. All right. Um, the Territorial Cup between Arizona and Arizona State. What the heck is this? It's just a cup. It's a... It's, it's, it's a... <laughs> it's a, it's a, a replica... Vase. It was lost for... For eighty years, it Before looks it was like found it was in nineteen eighty in the in the basement of a temp of a Tempe church. The replica of the cup is handed out on the field every year. It's a replicant um, that's handed out on the field. Yes. Uh, 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 D. Uh, um. 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 Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Nope. We're we're done here. All right, all right all Kyle. Right. Is the cast iron skill at the next one? Yeah, the iron skillet between like SMU and TCU. I like this one. Uh, wine iron skillet. Um, each school has a different version, but what was agreed on in 46, the winner has gained possession. The schools are about 40 miles apart. So why skillet? I don't know. Um, but I like it. I do like it a lot. It's a, it's a big skillet, bigger than uh, your your average skillet. I would say that. Um, it was originated between pregame festivities. SMU fans was frying frog legs. TCU fans seeing the uh, desecration of the frog went over and then tried eating the frog legs was going well beyond the rivalry. Uh, organically grown as SMU, SMU won the game and the skillet and frog legs went to SMU. The tradition eventually spilled over to an actual game and the iron skillet is now passed to the winner. 
I like it. I think this so, is A tier. because of frog legs. All because of frog legs. I think it's an A tier. <clears throat> sure. Sure. <laughs> you don't sound enthused. Um, the golden egg. I. This is handed out to the winner of the egg bowl. Um, it's a multi-tiered trophy. It just looks like a trophy. And you'd swear that's just a, a, a football on the top of it if you if you didn't look too closely. But it's an egg. And it just. I'll, I'll say it. If you've just if you asked, if you asked a random image generator, an AI image generator to make a generic ass trophy. Mm -hmm. So in 1920s and 1926, when Red and Blue ended their 13 game losing streak to, and, um, by defeating AM, Ole Miss fans rushed the field, tearing down goalposts. And AM fans did not take that well, and fights did, broke out. Did Mississippi State used to be Mississippi AM? Isn't this between Mississippi uh, and Mississippi yes. State? Okay. You're right. Yes. Yep. Uh, to prevent such future events in the future, the two schools created the the Golden Egg. How would that prevent? Okay, I, I want to put this in M tier. Yep, it's I just agree. it's a generic ass trophy with no concept or cohesive history. It, it was just to prevent schools from fighting each other. I, I don't see how, but whatever. We move forward. <laughs> Um, sorry, scrolling through a lot of these here. Um, the Stanford axe is the next one here. It's an axe head on a plaque. Very generic, generic. very generic. I'm I'm not, eh. Uh, eh. I, I'm not um, going to M tier it, but I think it's a D tier. Also, it's a. Why is it the Stanford Axe when it's between? It's not. There's two teams involved. Why is only Stanford getting naming rights on this? You know what, Kyle? You're right. M tier. You're 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 right. All right. Next up is the only trophy Ohio State um, battles for, and it's the not even every rivalry year. Rivalry trophy. Yes, the Ella Buck. The Illabuck. Now, I'll say this. I have on more than one occasion said that I do not care about the Illabuck. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say that, I don't hate this trophy, Spikes. When I say I don't care about the Illabuck, it's within the context of people saying, well, Ohio State and Illinois need to play every year. No, they don't. What about the yellow buck? I don't care. And then I say, I don't care about the yellow buck. I do like the yellow buck. I, I just don't think Ohio state should rearrange their schedule to play for it. Uh, for anyone out there who doesn't already know this, speaking to a bunch of Ohio state fans, I feel like you already do. The original yellow buck was an actual turtle or tortoise. I forget. Um, the two, the two schools uh, chose a turtle due to its long life. Uh, they went with a living one. So naturally, the turtle died two years later. And there's a lot of stories about how that happened. Um, yeah. there, there are conflicting stories on how that happened. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to say it probably wasn't due to natural causes. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, a lot of these trophies that you see it has like years, like of all the history and all this. This this um, wooden turtle only writes the last ten uh, ten uh, games. Well, then I think they were so, they create a new turtle, right? Yes, you're right. Yep. Yeah. And then a new trophy is created, and yes. I don't like that they re. I don't it like is, that it they is second. It is second only to the little brown jug in age. I don't like that they recreated every 10 matchups. I think that cheapens it. Um, the turtle yeah. has no real representation between the two schools. So I don't like it conceptually. I, I do like, what would you, I like the execution. I do like, there's some originality to it. Uh, it's like a B or a C. I'll let you decide which. 
you know, let, let's just put it B just because we're homers. That's fair. All right. Next up is the <laughs> is the bronze boot, Colorado State and Wyoming. It's a boot. Not to, it is a boot. Not to be all Canadian about it. It's a boot. It looks like a boot. It's 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 got a it's got the generic plaque on the front of it with the game. You know, the most recent game finals, whatever. It's a boot. Size eight jump boot originally worn by Colorado State ROTC professor Captain Dan J. Romero during the Vietnam War. Is it the actual boot that's been bronzed or is it a replica of the boot? It was encased in bronze, mounted on a wooden base. And since 1960, it has served as the symbol of the great rivalry. I like that it's an actual trophy. Detachment of each university. Okay, you know what? You're selling me on it. I like that it's a real boot worn by a real person. It's yep. I you're selling me on it. Uh, I, I'd say B so, or A. I'd B. I was thinking B or C. So we're just going to put it. That's fair. There, B, then. That's fair. All right. Um, moving on here. We have the victory bell. Another victory bell. Which victory bell a, is this? A, a rivalry that's coming over to the Big Ten. UCLA and USC. Ah, and this one's repainted. We're right here. We're seeing the USC version of the victory bell. Um, the, the framing is repainted depending upon who wins. Um, but at the end of the day, it's another, it's another bell. <laughs> I don't know who did the bell first. If they're the f- first people to have done it and everyone else copied them, I apologize. I should probably um, give some credit to the people who did it first, but I don't, I didn't look that up. So whatever. Looks like it was originally the UCLA. UCLA was, but. No, I mean, who was the, who had the very first victory bell trophy? Like. Who? Because there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of bell trophies. Who was the first? I am not asking you to look it up. But I'm just saying this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a bunch of trophy concepts that are repeated a bunch over and over it's nothing you it's nothing unique it's a bell so it's you can go at m tier it's nothing nothing special i I don't i I think it should be bad to be an m let's put it in d D, then put it put in d then all right um the old oaken bucket indiana and purdue the bucket really is an oak bucket, and it is old. <laughs> legend has it just as promised. Legend has it that the bucket was used in Indiana during the Civil War. Okay, hmm, some history, some history there. It looks like there's a chain with eyes and peas inside of it, according to the picture I'm looking at. It's 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 a bit small for me. I'll say that. I wish it was like keg sized. There's a uh, a giant keg full of nails um, a little bit further down the list somewhere. Uh, that to me, this is a, this is a bit cooler. Um, I'll just say I wish it was a little bit bigger. But funny story. The first contest to to battle for this uh, this trophy ended up in a zero zero tie. Oh boy, <laughs> that is so Big Ten. <laughs> How do we feel about the Oaken Bucket, Kyle? The Oaken Bucket, Kyle. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's kind of cool that it's it's not a new trophy that gets replaced after so long. It's that's good. There, there's a there's a legend around it that oh oh this this was the original one back a hundred years ago. 99 years ago. Well, and all, not only that, but they said that the bucket itself is from the Civil War. Allegedly. Uh, legends per, have per, it. Per legend. Legends have it, yep. That's cool. It's old. It's oak. Mm-hmm. B tier? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, sure. Sure. What were you going to say? 
Yeah, I was going to say I'm kind of between B and C, so. Okay. All right, next one here is the Floyd of Rosedale. Floyd of Rosedale. Iowa, Minis- Floyd of Rosedale needs bonus Iowa points. Iowa and Minnesota. Based off Floyd of the name. Floyd is a bronze pig. Floyd is a bronze pig, and really, how can that not be your number one trophy in college football? <laughs> it's a bronze pig. His name is Floyd. Apparently, he's from Rosedale. Floyd of Rosedale is a cool sounding name, if nothing else. It's two Midwest, it's two Midwest, two Big Ten schools fighting for a pig. Yeah, it was originally it, the battle of in 1935. The governors of Iowa and Minnesota agreed that the winner on the gridiron would receive a prize hog from the uh, downtrodden governor's home state. Downtrodden? So the, the why, why, year, we throwing, so the year, why are we throwing shade at the governor's? <laughs> So the one year they actually fought for a pig, a prized hog. And was the actual pig that was exchanged named Floyd? And was it from a town in Rosedale? Yeah. What, yeah. One year later, it was decided that treating a live pig back and forth was just not a good idea. So Floyd, our 98 pound friend, was sculpted and has been awarded to the winner of each school ever since. I think this is an A tier trophy. I, I, I agree. I think that's a tier. I agree. Floyd of Rosedale is such a good name, too. Oh, here we go. Here comes an axe. It's the Paul Bunyan's axe. No. Why, 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 what's, what's this tone? This is one of the coolest trophies in all of college football. All right. The stage is yours, Jared. One, look at it. Just look at it. It's a giant wooden axe. It has the results written all the way down the handle of the axe. Paul Bunyan is cool American folklore. Cool Midwestern folklore. And just look at it. One side's, I believe... Is once I believe one side's painted for Minnesota and one side's painted for Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and just look at it. Like I don't, Kyle. What what explanation do you need beyond just look at it? This isn't an axe head mounted to a. You know this this isn't the Stanford axe mounted to a plaque. This is a giant axe. A giant double-headed axe. And I I will note that the Discord chat has my side on this. That's fine. S-tier trophy. My grade is at the... uh, (laughs) The initial for one of the teams and then the other you've... Flip it upside down. How? How is it an M tier trophy to you? Execution. Okay. You you can we have a conversation. You can knock it for originality because there's a there's a there's a Paul Bunyan I, trophy. I do not agree. I and do there's not agree a with it at all. But M tier? You have to even if you want to if you want to knock the originality, okay. Okay, okay, fine. I can I can I can move it to D tier, okay. Okay. But the execution's amazing. The concept's amazing. The originality's not. Do you, okay, okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But out, out of the three criteria we set, I don't. I just. I just see too many. I just see too many trophies that's related to Paul Bunyan or an axe. It's just, just anything that I see with either or both of those. Like it gets downgraded so much for me. And that's that's why I grade it so low. You know what else gets graded really low, Kyle? Having to listen to ads. I don't like listening to ads. You don't like listening to ads. No one likes listening to ads. You can avoid the ads I'm about to play on this podcast feed uh, by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com, uh, signing up at our lowest tier 
is at three dollars. You can do more than that, but you our lowest tier is three dollars. And at that tier, um, or you can uh, pay for 12 months up front and get a I believe it's like a 11 or 12 percent discount. Um, and it's only like 3250 or something like that. Um, thank you, Spikes. And you, like I said, $32 a year, you get to avoid ads, you get to support this podcast so that we can reinvest into the podcast uh, and, you know, just give back to a show that you hopefully like. Hopefully you like us and hopefully you want to help support us. Uh, once again, that is patreon.thesloopcast.com. Okay, Kyle. Um, is there an Elvis trophy? Not that I'm aware of, Zach, but if there is, please send the picture in the chat. All right. The oldest, the oldest trophy here, the little brown jug. This is the oldest trophy? As far as what I'm reading here. All right. Legend has it. This has a cool backstory, too. The jug didn't become a traveling trophy until 1909, still qualifying it as the oldest such trophy in major college football. Allegedly, this trophy... Kyle, do you have the backstory in front of you? Because I only half remember it. Um, Allegedly, one of the coaches on one of the sides, I don't remember if it was the Minnesota side or the Michigan side, thought that the other team was going to poison the water and therefore brought their own water in that little thing. brown jugs. And yes. there it it's been around since 1903 and was once used by the Michigan team. So I'm going to assume that that was on the Michigan side there. This is, this is what a rivalry trophy should be. It's original in that it's the first one. You don't get more original than that. The concept is rooted in history. The, the, this is S tier. And the execution, yeah. again, it's it's an actual jug. That's. I don't know if it's the original jug. I don't know if it's still the same one or not, but. Can't find anything, but I figured I'd ask. Listen, um, Tennessee and Las Vegas uh, need to have a rivalry. So when, when, and when call Michigan up the came Elvis into oh, here we go. When Michigan came into Minneapolis in nineteen oh three, uh, the student one of the student managers was told to purchase something to carry water. Um, he was somewhat concerned that Gopher fans might contaminate the water supply. So they purchased a five-gallon jug for thirty cents from a local uh, variety store in Dinky Town. The jug itself is known as a Red Wing Pottery. It's a five-gallon beehive jug and was made in Red Wing, Minnesota. That's a cool story. Okay. Next right, trophy: uh, the Golden Hat. The Golden Hat. Oklahoma I'll be honest; I didn't know this existed. I did. It, it's actually cool. I I, I like. I th I think the executions there. I really. I think it's really cool, and, and it's something that you can wear, like show off. You can show off and wear. Yeah, it's. I really like it. I really like it. Where do you want to put it? Uh, it, it that's got to get close to S tier. I, I I think it's it's way up there for me. We'll put it in S tier. It's also very Texas State Fair, which is obviously where the game is held. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kyle. Is it is, is it's another Paul Bunyan trophy? Are you are you going to make it through this? There's I'm just going to let you. There's talk. I, I just... two ball, Paul Bunyan trophies, which is apparently one too many for Kyle. Kyle hates America. He hates America folklore. He's definitely not going to like my suggestion at the end of the episode, by the way. I'm going to unve unveil a concept, not an execution. I didn't make it. And I'm going to unveil what I think Ohio State's next rivalry trophy should be. 
I think I, I I think this is cool looking. I think it has a ton of history. I like American folklore, unlike Kyle, who is uh, a Russian sympathizing communist. Um, I'm going to put this in A tier. I don't agree, but I I don't think I'm going to convince you either way, and you're not going to convince me either way, so. Next up, we have another golden piece of uh, boot <laughs> apparel. Uh, this is not the golden hat and it's not the bronze boot, but this is a golden boot, which sounds bad until you realize that the boot is the two states, Arkansas and Louisiana, yeah, that, stacked on top of each other. That's, that's a great concept. Cool. That, that, that is the concept executed, yes. I don't know yes, how well it's absolutely. executed. I don't know how well it's executed. Well, as far well, as just well, the concept, what the concept, the concept, good concept. Was, yes. Um, it originality is, is. It's four feet tall, one hundred and seventy-five pounds, and molded out of twenty-four karat gold. It just isn't attractive looking, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's cool that it looks like a boot because of the two states together. Yeah. That that's that gets some that gets some yeah. big points for originality, but yeah, I I'd say kind of between maybe a C, I would C. say C. Yeah, I I think I think they should take this trophy back to the drawing board. Same concept, mm -hmm. but just maybe come back with a new design. That Speaking would be my new opinion. design here. New design, the victory bell between Cincinnati and Miami of Ohio. It's like a victory it's a, bell. It's a, it's a tiny bell. It's a little it's tiny, a tiny victory. Bell. It's a little tiny victory it's a, bell. It's a little tiny bell. Yeah, and um, it's painted for the the winners. The winners paint it. It's a... It is the, it is the oldest current non-conference college football rivalry. That's a lot of adjectives. It's a lot of qualifiers. <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm fine I, with this. It's, it's a bell. It, it it's it's nothing special. It goes with the other bells. D. Okay. It goes in the D. Um, the Heartland Trophy. We're going back to the Midwest here. Uh, Iowa and Wisconsin. Hold now. Hold on. Before we talk any more about this, I'm going to make this big on my screen. This is hideous. Is it this is. a pig? Is this a bull? When you look at it in the front of it, it actually looks a lot better, but it, it's kind of, it's kind of the, um, it's well, hideous. Let's, yeah. You look at it this side, it's, it's, it's bad looking. This is a, the execution on this is terrible. This, they, they made this trophy in 2004. You'd almost forgive how ugly it is if it were older. Like the, the brown jug isn't like attractive, yeah. but it's old, so it's retro and cool. Yeah, there, there's 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 nothing there's nothing to this here. So this, yeah. again, I, this I, is this, this is another like designed by committee. We'll call it the Heartland Trophy because we live in the Heartland and uh, we wanted to celebrate our agriculture. And like this, this is like it's not as bad as the. Corn family Cyhawk trophy from before, but man, it just feels bland and by committee, and I hate it. And the and the reason behind it is is also bland too, because because both athletic du directors um, decided that being both teams being in such a competitive conference rivalry that they need to have a trophy befitting their hard hard fought games. D D. I think you're being generous no with more. that, but okay. Fine, put it in. Fine, I'm fine. You can put an M tier. Put it in okay. tier. It, it has no concept. It's poorly executed. Um, and it's unoriginal. And, I think it fails right, all three of, spots. Speaking of M tier, next one here is um, the belt. I love the belt. South Alabama and Troy. There's 
um, officially dubbed the rivalry the Battle of the Belt, with a wrestling style belt going to the winner of the rivalry annually. Originality to- points through the roof. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, the concept behind the belt stemmed from the student body of um, South Alabama. It was accompanied by insight from the football team. The football team really liked the concept of the wrestling belt. So there was there's no reason behind it. It's like, oh hey, let's let's make a trophy out of let's make a belt trophy. And the football team said, Yeah, we like that. There's no there's no history behind it other no. than that. Well, I mean hey, it's recent. Let's make it let's 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 make a trophy. These are fair criticisms, but the original, um, it, it just, it's just like the bull. No. It's, just, it's just like the last one. It's just like the, it's just the last one we, we talked about where, where it was a bull trophy and it's, yeah, it's, I don't like it at all. And M tier. This has originality points spilling out of it. Every other trophy is a trophy or a plaque or a cup. This is a belt. It at least has originality to it. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll split the difference between us and put it in C. I, I didn't mean to spin it. There we go. All right. All right. We're going to move a little quicker here. Uh, the um, Bridger rifle, probably butchering that uh, Utah state and Wyoming. So. It's It's a gun. This is, it is this, a gun. this is a gun. It's a 50. It's a 50, 50 caliber Rocky Mountain fucking rifle. Th- this is a straight up. Uh, I believe the picture is a little bit blurry. Bolt action rifle. This this is just straight up a gun. Very, very mountain, very of its area. Mm-hmm. It's a gun. For better or worse, depending upon how you feel about such things. Um, Kyle, where would you like to put the gun? I mean, it hits all the marks. I just don't like the trophy being a gun. It's not not a trophy. It's a gun. (laughs) It's it's straight up. uh, You see it here. I don't know. Sure. I I don't have I don't have a strong opinion either way. All right. The Commonwealth Cup, it's Virginia a, and Virginia Tech. It's a cup. It's another cup. That uh, D tier, just painfully unoriginal. Yep. Yep. Something that's not, something that is unique is hey hey let's 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 um let's fight over a cheerleader's um. Uh, megaphone here. So some sometimes unique <laughs> doesn't it doesn't work out. Why and why is it red? I mean, I get that it's Good not question. totally oh, oh, red. Is, it, is that when they tie? Is that when they tie? Maybe, maybe, but still, why red? Question. I don't know. The picture is far too blurry for me to read it. Um, and like the red part is where. Notre is Dame, where the oh, actual like plaque yeah, is yeah. too. So the red is front and center. On, on Notre Dame's side of the trophy is blue. Michigan State is green. And the year of the game and team's respective scores run down the middle. So there's no reason why it's red. Like you could have done that in white. Mm-hmm. Or black. Or gray. You know neutrals I think execution execution missed it here it's original but not original in a good way yeah so I would I would say conceptually I would say bad I would say C I, I okay we move forward I think well, C here we choice. go here here's another here's another bell Jared the victory bell of Duke in North Carolina. It's a bell. <laughs> it's another bell. It's on a it's on a cart. And it's not all that big. It's a bell. It's a bell. 
Yep, it can go with the rest of the bells. Okay. And speaking of <laughs> uh Florida State, Florida State and Virginia is the next rivalry. The Jefferson Epis Ep, Epis Epps. Epis Trophy. I, I, I would just say I Epps. was about to say Epps. I'm like, mm, yeah. It's uh it's a pitcher. I was about to say it's a cup, but uh that's a pitcher. It's a picture of a picture. Yeah, it, go, it goes it goes with the rest of the cups, Jerry. <laughs> uh, well, we have cups in both D and M. So I'll, I'll just put it in D because I, I do like the base because I don't think that's oak. I'm trying. It looks like kind of a zebra wood. So I'm going to be wood nerd for a second. I do really like this. This wood grain. Can I just be a wood nerd for a second? It is a really nice wood grain on on the on the base. So we'll the silver pitcher presented to the city of Tallahassee, Florida, um, set upon wood as made of remains of McGuffrey ash, which was once the largest tree on the grounds of the University of Virginia, but suffered fatal tree disease in 1990. Okay. So, sorry, what kind of tree was it again? I was lining up the next um, picture. Remains of the McGuffrey ash. Ah, uh, so it's an ash tree. Mm. All right. I'm um, going to move quick because we have... I I, I'm, I skipped kind of... a couple. Um, okay. I, the, I honestly did not know Alabama and Auburn had a trophy. I, I didn't know the... I did not know the Iron Bowl had a trophy. It apparently has had a trophy since 1948. And it's, the, it's a generic... Everything about this is generic as hell. It, it is so generic. It looks like something that you would win at Wimbledon. Yeah, <laughs> that that's a good call. Um, it it's 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 a it's incredibly ornate, which kind of just goes against I think what like shouldn't the Iron Bowl trophy just be like an an I beam? Yeah, I, <laughs> I kind of want it just to be an I beam. So much. It, they could have done so much more. So yeah, it, it's got to go at like but, M tier. It is. It is hideous and hideous, unoriginal yeah. and boring. There's no concept. Speak, speak it, speaking of hideous, Jared, the next one too. Seems like it seems like a a trend with a lot of these SEC rivalries here that have trophies. The Magnolia Bull Trophy, which is. The rivalry of LSU and Ole Miss, and they fight over a plaque of a Mongolia flower on it. Magnolia. And why? Because both both um, because both states' flowers are are that. So it'd be like if Ohio State and Indiana played for the Cardinal Cup. Well, a lot, lot of states. I a lot of states use the cardinal. A lot of states use the cardinal. I bet a lot of states yeah. use the magnolia it, it, as well. This is this is not a good looking. It is there's no. Yeah, it's bad. Bad. It's M tier. It is one of the worst ones. It is. It fe- yeah. this also feels very by committee. This this is it does. This is very sci hawkish. Mm-hmm. Um, the legends trophy. Notre you want to talk about? You want to talk about a a t- a uh, tennis ass trophy you want to talk about <laughs> something that looks like it belongs at a tennis tournament or, or even 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 the the name of it the legends trophy. I, that is so pretentious how is it not in the big 10 it, it it honors both the winning team in memory of the first game played between the two universities in the 1925 rose bowl game which is considered by many as being played by more legends of college football than in, in any game in history. Looks like a golf trophy, says Spikes. Yes, uh, golf trophy. It does. Uh, it does look like golf. 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 golf uh, tennis. The same difference in my head. Um, I mean, it's it's attractive. It is. It is, but the execution is well done. But I, I, what's where? But concept and originality, I got it's it's giving me nothing. Yeah, so it's D to C for me. We'll I'll let it, you choose, Jared. 
Uh, we'll say C just because it is. It's nice looking. I don't know if it's a All football right. trophy. This one, this, this one, this one, I can't conflict with. It is. It's unique, very unique because it's not between two rivalries. It's between three. Mm -hmm. It's between three. It's the Commander and Chiefs Trophy between Air Force, Army, and Navy. Very unique. Yes. I'm not a fan of the tr how the trophy looks itself. It's not very pleasant to the eyes to look at. But, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's... It's a trophy. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very torn of it just because it's... <clears throat> It's not. It's not between two teams. It's between three. It is, but that's that has nothing to do with the trophy itself. If we're if we're if we're supposed to be sticking to like the trophy, it does help explain the abomination that is the design of it with the three footballs on top. Like it kind of has to look like this because they're doing three unique cool. sides. So one thing one thing that's hard to look at that you can't really see here, but. So it's it's shaped as a, like in a pyramid, and each cutout area has a silver figurine of the mascot. Yeah, for each academy. Conceptually, good originality. I I, I disagree with Kyle. I don't think because it, it just it looks like a trophy. Like it, I don't. It has a footballs on it. Like I, I understand that it's you. It, there's originality in that it's between three teams and not two. Mm -hmm. But that has nothing to do with the actual design of the trophy itself. So I'm not giving so, this any originality I, points. I'm not giving it any. I, I, I like the concept of it. I, I'll say that. I like the concept of it. So, but that's that's it. So 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 it sounds like this goes in the D tier. I, I'm, I'm I was kind of leaning more C, but oh, uh, I mean I'm fine either way. If you want C, I'll put it in C. Sure. I, I've lost it well, to the bottom of the screen. Uh, Kyle, we do not have time to go through all the other ones on the list. If you want to pick out a favorite or right. two. Kago Nails is a unique one. I, I was Nails. literally going to pick that one for myself. <laughs> I yeah, Cincinnati and Louisville. I like the Very keg unique. of nails. Yes. My issue with the keg of nails. I, do people know I'm a wood nerd on this podcast, Kyle? Are people just now learning this about me? Because I, I am. And I'm about to show it off again. This looks like it's fucking pine. And I hate pine. <laughs> How are you? Maybe I'm wrong. I could be mistaken. It's to, it's to replicate. It's to replicate kegs of um, shipping nails. A keg? An alcohol? I don't know about. I don't, I don't know what a. I don't know what they ship nails in. I don't know. But a. Bourbon keg is made of oak. A lot of beer kegs back when beer kegs were made of wood were made of oak, sometimes cherry, but oak. This looks like pine to me. Although I could be wrong because it's heavily painted. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I don't like the craftsmanship I, on it. I, I love the concept. I, I, I think it's not there. The execution's so. not there. I, yeah, I'd say a C then. I mean, execution. Yeah, if, if the execution there, yeah, that would be like a B, maybe an A, but yeah. I'm just saying it, it your two sound. major universe, and maybe it's not pine. Maybe the maybe the picture's throwing me off. Maybe just the bottom, because so. the bottom the bottom circle looks very pineish. Mm -hmm. Pine right, so is pine is just it's it's I'm, the cheapest. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm being wood nerd. I was, I was gonna say I, I know we're over on time here. I was just gonna just name some other ones here. We don't have to rank these though. But there is that Cyhawk trophy that you mentioned before. This is the new Cyhawk trophy. This is not this the we this is the only trophy on today's show to uh, make two entrances. Uh, because they revised that awful family corn trophy. And turned it into this, which um, has no concept to it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's you you put it you put it way down. You put it way down. So I'm gonna put it in D. Mm -hmm. Just just so we're still clear that it's better than the previous one. 
I'll say this. Indiana let me say this. Let me say this about the Cyhawk trophy. It's a cool name. Cyhawk. It's a good name. Indiana, Michigan State uh, oh, no. plays for a um, plays for a spittoon. <laughs> this, this this is this is terrible. M tier. That is an M tier. We don't need to waste any more time. It's just M. This this is disgusting. Fresno State and San Diego State plays for an oil can. North Dakota and South Dakota North Dakota State and South Dakota State play for a um I a love marker. this one. Hold on, hold on. I love this one. I th- th- we have to put this one in the nope. It is a 75 pound marker. And it's the split the the split between the two states. This is what they actually use to or used at least on the border between North and South Dakota to just as like physical markings of the actual borders of the state. Mm -hmm. I assume this is a replica of one of those and not an actual one, but I, I, I think this, this is excellent. This is what a college football rivalry trophy, especially a border rivalry trophy should be. It's literally the border. It's literal physical man manifestation of the border. Th- yeah, this is S tier. Yes. It's a modern replica. It is a, yeah. But it's yeah. that that's S tier um, to me. A lot of these a lot of these others I see here, there's nothing unique about them, or they're just like a standard trophy, like the land grant trophy between Michigan State and Penn State. Eh, nothing, Generic. Spe- nothing special about that. Yeah. And then and then there's that governor's cup of Kentucky, Louisville. Very generic too. Uh, the Purdue yes. cannon between Illinois and Purdue is a miniature cannon that's it's, smaller it's a little, than the size of a football. So it's, it's a little baby cannon. Well, I, I need to put this on the screen. It's a little baby cannon. Um, I don't know what else to say about it other than it, it's a little baby cannon. It's Washington, Washington, Washington state plays for a trophy with an apple on it. it Maryland. It's, and Navy it's, it is the apple. Cr- it is the apple cup. Yes. It could be better. It's it's not well executed. Maryland and Navy plays for a trophy named the Crab Bowl. I, I I love this trophy. I'm gonna stick this in A tier. I I like this trophy a lot. It's just they're they're they're, they're, they're both Maryland. Mar- Maryland's a very crab based yep. state. I like it a lot. Central Michigan and Western Michigan plays for a a a cannon, very generic cannon here don't care it's 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 um, it's a tiny little it's it's no well, bigger than yeah. the other cannon we talked about the only difference being is that it's on a plaque it is or um, on a, I got on two a more base. here i got two more here bowling green and toledo plays for a plaque that just says battle of i-75 nah. this is a great <laughs> rivalry and a lousy trophy yes yes i get that it's the battle of i-75 but you seriously got two little football guys who you could have got from the local trophy shop, like the most generic looking little football so guys. Would have won like at, like in peewee football or something. <laughs> and then literally just a interstate marker, just an interstate sign. And the last one here is land of Lincoln trophy from Illinois Northwestern. And it's just a, and it's just a at, Famously worn by Abraham Lincoln. A, on a, a bronze, wooden base a with a replica. plaque. I would have preferred if they had done this. It's just the hat. Just the hat. <laughs> no, it sits on a wooden but, base. I would have preferred it I if know, it was but just if the it hat. it was the hat. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no. Okay, we're on the same page. We're saying the same thing. <laughs> if it were just the hat, it would be kind of a rip off of Texas and Oklahoma, but screw it. Land of Lincoln's a good name for a trophy. Just yeah. just a, an actual wearable Abraham Lincoln hat in bronze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so should Ohio State and Michigan play for the Toledo Strip Trophy? Uh, Ohio, uh, as tradition states, Ohio State and Michigan play for the Big Ten Trophy. That that is the trophy. Bingo. 
that, that is it. If you, there's probably some other ones I'm missing oh, here, but uh, we've missed good, so there's many. There's probably a good reason. There, there's a good reason why we but missed so it. many. Kyle, that is before it. before we end the show, I want the new Ohio State rivalry trophy between Ohio State and USC and Washington. Mm. We call it the Johnny Appleseed. Oh, the John, this this one, yes. Kyle's heard me say this before. I haven't said it on the show before. This, yeah. The Johnny Appleseed. Uh, the Washington is, they're like the Apple State. You know, they uh, Washington and Washington State play for the Apple Bowl. Play the, the, Their rivalry is called the Apple Bowl. Johnny Appleseed, uh, not born in Ohio, but did most of his work in Ohio. Uh, Ohio and Indiana, but mostly did most of his work in Ohio. Um, so again, we're, we're like American folklore, with, you know, Washington being, you know, the Apple state with Ohio based Americana folklore, Ohio state and Washington play for the Johnny Appleseed trophy. I like this idea. Now, Kyle hates America and he hates American folklore as, as evidenced by his Paul Bunyan takes. So I don't know how he feels about this. Kyle, how would you feel about the Johnny Matt. Appleseed trophy? Bet. Kyle hates America. Bet to me. Kyle hates America. Okay. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner other than your just raw hatred for the freest country on the planet? I want to talk to some um, teams in Columbus. Uh, crew keeps on winning. Uh, the Buckeyes basketball team takes a shot with Jake Diebler as their head coach. Oh boy. And they will be seated as a number two seed in the NIT to face Cornell. I uh, am, am not a fan of the Diebler hire. Um, and I suppose and it, I'll leave it at that. I feel like they should have went and gotten an experienced head coach who's run a program before. Um, and I don't think what Diebler did at Ohio State as an interim justified him getting the head coaching job. In my opinion, they are doing this because they're they still have to pay Holtman for a couple of years. So, yes, they do. You know, just let Diebler go in there and do it. So all your words, Jared, when we win a natty next year. OK, I, I sure will. Um. Also, Ohio State right. loses uh, Tony Alford to Michigan. Is also a thing yes, that happened. There is that. That is true. Yes. Oh, but everyone's like, why, 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 why? Because he got three years of guaranteed money instead of one year of guaranteed money. That's why. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. People want to make it more complicated than that. It doesn't have to be. Is that really a loss? Yes. I I'm not like heartbroken about losing Tony Alford. Um, But I would have rather not lose him, especially in March, in the middle of spring camp. Um, yeah. Am I ha have I lost sleep over it? No, I have not. But. Yeah, it's a loss, it's not a devastating loss, but it's it's, it's, a, it's a loss. It's a loss for sure. Yep. yep. All right. Let's go ahead and end it right there, Jared, because we are way over in time here super so. over in time um yeah tonight's ending music uh will be brought to us by let's go with a mother folk song i feel like we haven't uh played a mother folk song in a while so let's go ahead and do that and with all that being said i'd like to encourage everyone to drink drink or drunk drink local beer listen to local music and of course support your local podcasters once again this is mother folk <laughs>